guys, I am Rebecca and these are my reviews and I have a big box of stuff that I got from evitamins.com. So evitamins hit me up and they gave me some credit to do a little shopping and check them out and see if I like them, share it with you guys and all that stuff. So I'm basically going to give you my pros and cons as I show you all of the stuff that I got. So evitamins, as the name would suggest, is an online vitamin store, but they also have a lot of other stuff, beauty, kitchen food stuff, you know, all sorts of things. And it's all supposed to be on the more organic, all natural side of the spectrum. Uh, the prices are actually really good. I have compared them. Some of them are right on that you might get from Amazon or the supermarket. Some of them are actually cheaper. But one of the major issues that I had while doing this whole experience was that a lot of stuff I would order and then it wouldn't show up and then I would get a thing saying, oh yeah, sorry, that wasn't in stock. So we just didn't send it. Like there was no notification. Although the second time there was a notification saying, hey, you ordered this thing, we don't have it. You can either wait or, you know, just we'll refund you basically, that kind of a thing. So um, there was a little bit of that. It does take a while for the stuff to get to you because what I understand is that they don't necessarily have a warehouse full of all of this stuff. They get it from the companies, so they kind of have to wait for the companies to give it to them and then they ship it off to you. So it takes a little bit longer. So anyway, let me just show you the stuff that I got. Okay, this is 30 Day Beauty Secret and it was vitamin packets, I think, did I save one in here? I did, I'm so clever. So I saved one of the packets and it's just three vitamins in a packet, which were not difficult to take. I mean, they look like big old horse pills, but I'm pretty good at taking pills and these were no problem. Uh, they do taste a little funky, but you know, what? they're vitamins. Um, I'm not sure that I noticed much of a difference in my hair, skin, nails. I don't know, like, I don't know that I would get this again just because I personally did not notice a difference. It could be that if I used them for more than 30 days, I would start noticing. But anyway, so they were fine. They were, you know, fine. <laughs> this is nearly gone. It's coconut oil and it's just virgin coconut oil, but it's from E Vitamins. It's organic, 100% pure, cold pressed and unrefined. You know, I use coconut oil all the time for all sorts of things. I use it on my skin. I use it when I cook. I use it in my hair. You can use this for just about anything and it's wonderful and marvelous. So anyway, just another coconut oil. Uh, these vitamins I used to get for my kids on Amazon and then they stopped selling them on Amazon So I was really excited when I found them on e vitamins. They're from Nordic Naturals and they're just probiotic gummies for kids and I'm telling you without these it's a problem. This is called Dandy Blend. This is an instant herbal beverage with dandelion root. And it's basically supposed to be a coffee substitute. Quite honestly, the first time I heard about this was on The Good Witch. I think that's the name of that TV show. I think I watched like two episodes and in one of the episodes she like gives the doctor a cup of coffee and he's like, mm, this coffee is really good. And she's like, it's not coffee, it's dandelion. And so I was like, what? So then when I saw this, I was like, oh, I have to try that. It is an instant kind of a beverage. So it's just a powder and you scoop it into hot water and uh, it does not taste anything like coffee. It tastes like a weird tea, I guess. I don't know. It grew on me after a while though. <laughs> and dandelion is actually supposed to help with digestion and stuff. So I don't know, I actually really liked this. It, I'm telling you, it grew on me. The first time I had it, I was like, oh, that's awful. But then I started mixing it with coffee or hot chocolate, and I actually really ended up loving it. So, I don't know, one of those weird things that I probably never would have tried, and then randomly I did and loved it. Um, another coffee substitute. I don't know why I wanted coffee substitutes. I think mostly because I love to drink coffee, like all day, every day, right? But if I drink too much, I get a stomach ache, and even just switching to decaf, a lot of times it can be too acidic. You guys, I drink a lot of coffee. So I wanted to try something that wasn't coffee, but tasted like coffee, when still kind of give me that you know, sensation of having a warm cup of joe. So anyway, I got this one, and this one does actually taste like coffee, but it is sweet. I don't normally put sugar in my coffee, and this definitely is sweet. It's not overly sweet, but 
you know, so for me, it felt like more of a dessert beverage. Like I would not have this first thing in the morning. I would have a normal cup of coffee. And then for the afternoon, I really like having this because it doesn't have any caffeine in it. There's, it's not, there's nothing about this is actual coffee, but it does taste like coffee. It's got like chicory root and stuff. This one is hazelnut and it says it's 75% organic. And the hazelnut I really liked. And then I got the vanilla nut. I don't know, I'm not sure which one I like better, but they're both really super delicious. Like I said, a little bit sweet. It does taste like coffee for the most part, and it's a nice afternoon warm beverage kind of a thing. So I've, I've really been enjoying these. Did I tell you what these are? These are Ticino, chicory herbal coffee, caffeine free and acid free. And I think that was mostly what I was looking for was something that was acid free. Along that line of beverage, you gotta get a lot of stuff for beverages. This is mother's milk tea. This is supposed to be good for breastfeeding mothers. And when I first had Jensen, my oldest, I somebody gave me this and I started drinking it and I actually really just like the flavor of it. I don't know. And so I got it again and I was like, I really like this tea. I'm just, I, you know, I don't need to breastfeed any no, anymore. And I don't know that there's anything in there that, you know, would cause issues now that I'm not breastfeeding. You know, it's got all normal stuff in it and it just tastes really good. So, and you can get this from the grocery store or whatever, but anyway, I really like that tea. This is Spike. This is just like an all purpose seasoning. And for a while, my mom used to get this and I would put it like, it's really good on tomatoes and just a general all purpose seasoning. You can put it on chicken or veggies or whatever. And it's just really super tasty. And I hadn't had it in forever. So when I saw it on E Vitamins, I was like, Ooh, I have to get that. So anyway, spike, really tasty. This is Barista's Matcha. The only other matcha that I've tried was from Timi, and I really like that one. This one is a little bit more expensive, but it seems to be a little more intense as well. You know, I mean, it's just like a powdered green one. And this brand, um, My Matcha Life, has several different types that you can get. Um, I don't really know the difference, but this one they said is, is really good for like, mixing with things, lattes, smoothies, that sort of thing. So that's why I got this one. And I do put it in my smoothies occasionally or lattes and it's really great. I like it a lot. It is quite intense. You only need like a quarter of a teaspoon for a whole cup of matcha tea. So um, anyway, I've really been liking this. Another thing that I like to put in my smoothies, this is Moringa leaf powder. And I think I first got a sample of this in some subscription box. I don't remember what, but I really liked it. So I got this one and this one is from Bio Nutrition. And I don't know, it's just, you know, a Moringa powder, the Moringa leaf, and it's another green powder that's supposed to be magical and good for you. It doesn't have a strong taste, but you can definitely taste it. But I like putting it in my smoothies. I don't know, it's just supposed to be super good for you. They sent me this shirt, which I'll probably never wear. Maybe I can like cut it up or wear it for pajamas or something. I like the color, it just, you know not really like a style that I would wear. But anyway, thought that was kind of cute that they sent that to me. This is Beauty Without Cruelty Creamy Eye and Face Makeup Remover. Um, I have one from Makeup Forever, I think. It's like the Sensitive Eyes Creamy Makeup Remover and it is my all-time favorite eye makeup remover, but they are not cruelty-free. So I wanted to try this one and it's not quite as good, but it is still good. And I really like using this on stubborn eye makeup, like waterproof mascara, stuff like that, because I think the creaminess, it's just, it's just a little more sensitive on my eye area, you know what I mean? And I use it all over my face and I basically just kind of, you know, smush it all over, break up the makeup and then wipe it off with a damp cloth. I have like a makeup eraser type cloth that I use. Oh, this turkey jerky. What is the brand of this? Golden Valley Natural Turkey Jerky. This was so good. I immediately ate the entire bag whole thing. It was delicious. I loved it. And then they sent a bunch of samples of stuff that most of which I don't think I've tried, like some prenatal vitamins, probably because I got that mother's milk tea. <laughs> so I have a couple things of prenatal vitamins that I'll probably just pass along to somebody else. Uh, what is this? B12. I don't know. There's a bunch of random supplements. Glucose management. Cebu Nourishing Facial Cream. Oh, I know that brand. Huh, I'll have to try that. Um, a live plant protein fruit smoothie, tropical mango flavored. Oh, that's kind of cool. I'll have to throw that in one of my smoothies to see how it is. Natural Stress Relief. Toothpaste Tablets. Oh, that's interesting. Chew, brush, rinse. Huh, I'll have to try those out. Try these out on my kids. 
Well, fun. So I got a bunch of random samples in here of supplements and whatnot. And then all of the stuff that I got, I did actually really like. And I thought that, you know, the prices were good and all of that. Oh, and a $5 coupon on my next order. So, you know, I would say overall my, my experience was good. Just, it's one of those things like don't order it if you need it in a hurry and, you know, just watch out that they may not have everything in stock. But it is kind of fun to shop. I'm sorry, I have something stuck to my hand. It is kind of fun to shop on their site just because, you know, I found a lot of things that I probably wouldn't have found anywhere else unless I guess I went to some sort of health food store or something. But, you know, like I said, they have a lot of beauty stuff. They do have a fair amount of makeup food gourmet type things a lot of vitamins and supplements and you know just it's it's nice that it's you can kind of count on it all being cruelty free all natural organic and not that i don't double check these things but you know for the most part it all is which is nice so anyway i like key vitamins i'm happy with my experience overall i would say i would shop there again absolutely so i will leave all of the information in the description box i will list out all of the products that i got just in case there was something that you wanted to try so a big thank you to e vitamins i did enjoy doing this and i'm glad to know a new place to shop online i do love my online shopping so thank you guys so much for watching please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and share it with your friends don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye!